Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Bug Fables. Last time we did some crank shenanigans and collected a bunch of cranks and pulled a bunch of cranks and just generally did a lot of things with cranks. I think I named that video Cranky and uh, I was very, very happy about that. I, I, I was proud of that. I held that. And this time... Yeah, this is the area we've already been, correct? Or am I confusing it with something? No, no, this is definitely the area we've already been. So we got the big crank, which goes in the middle. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't forgetting something. And yeah, we're gonna put it over here and see what the weird Cthulhu goddess has uh, to do for us. There's a hole. We put the top hat in it. I does nothing. Well, I mean, it, it sits on your head, it does that. Wait, wait, did I press the... Oh, big crank bottom half. I have to look for the other half. Oops, I forgot about that. Um, huh. Well then, was there something we missed last time? Well, I can farm money. I know that. Where would the... Let's see. So if we think, I got the bottom half of the crank over there, so logic would say the other half is over here, right? Oh wait, did I never... Did I never actually use this? Well, the distance on these is very weird. There we go. So, did I ever actually do this? I don't think I did. No, no, we have not been here. Okay, so I put that crank in and then didn't even go in the area. Good to know. Yeah, actually, I remember talking about that now. I was like, well, I want to go to the other side before um, I go up above. And yeah, that was my logic. Wait. Oh, I have to freeze it with Leif, don't I? There we are. I figured it out. Look at me. I can use critical thinking skills sometimes. Alright, just go ahead and... I guess we're just supposed to bop that over here. Hello. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> it needs to be uh, in a different location. Alright, so first we are going to want to bop it... Ow. First, we're going to want to fall into the grass. This is very... I mean, into the barbs. This is very, very important. There we go. Okay, so hit it over one. And then just keep knocking it. And then... It should line up. Damn it. Okay, my block stays there. Good. Okay, see, we didn't even need that dumb... Uh, the dumb seedling... Wait, why would I? Why would I want to do that? Oh, all oh, oh, to get back after my block uh, dissipates. Okay, yeah, you, you know what? That makes sense, game. Fine. I'll accept that. I see you for what you are. Okay, over there. Uh, uh. Okay, we made it. Now what do you do? Is there a reason for you to exist? Okay, that's the reason. How do I get over there? Because there's, there's grass over there. Do we actually get something that lets us kind of load across? We must. I don't see any other way to get over there. Because, I mean, this guy does this. But that's not enough distance to make it all the way over there. Maybe we'll get some kind of new ability up here in this next area that will uh, possibly solve this conundrum. Um, oh, okay. I see what I have to do. I have to freeze a block, get it onto there so I can stand high enough to grab that item with the boomerang, if I'm thinking correctly. I'm glad the puzzles in this game are relatively simple because um, for anyone that's new here... Uh, Superland was an adventure in uh, finding out my own stupidity. If I had an ego, which I don't whatsoever, uh, it Superland would have absolutely annihilated it. Here we are. The big crank top half. You got the big crank. Wow. <laughs> we needed two. Uh, we needed two messages for that, really. Huh. Yeah. So this, I. Hmm. I still don't know what I'm supposed to do about this. 
Cause come on, I can I can see something over there. And like I don't know, I I feel like it's doable. If one of those um enemies actually went on a I mean I guess there is that path. Let me let me let me give it one college try, as some people say. Which uh is not a very good try, because uh if if my uh experiences in college is anything to go by, uh I didn't try too hard, actually. I mean I did my work and everything, but most assignments I didn't really go above and beyond. Uh, okay. Well, that's not gonna work. It's it's hard getting these uh, blocks into the position that you need them sometime. Whoops, I thought I, I was sure I got it there. Leif's pointing the wrong direction? Okay, there we go. Jeez. That took way more tries than it should have. Okay, so all I want to do is I want to get over to the other side again. Because it seems like this particular enemy comes, like, right over here? Which seems like it might be a good position to uh, catch it with some ice. No, not quite. Now I have to wait for it to come all the way back around. So how, so how is everybody? How's your day? As we sit here and wait for this enemy to slowly rotate over here. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. Okay, so, now... No, what? Oh, yeah, they break free. That is right. They do that. Alright, well... I think I might write this particular spot down in my notes to come back to at a later point because uh, I don't feel like we can do anything here right now. So yeah, Let, let's just come back at a later point. Let's go ahead and write that down in the notes. Um, should be able to reach the upper level now. This is the upper level, but I guess there's an upper level. All right, so second floor rank. Lace. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll see that and be like, what in the world? Hmm, something's odd. Let's make sure we're ready. Okay, we'll do Leif. I'll, uh, I'll take that to heart. There we go. Saving. Please stand by. Save complete. All right, we're all good. Are we good on items? Yeah. We got some leaf omelets and everything. Alrighty. There's a hole. Something could fit in said hole. I put a crank in the hole. Oh ho ho, aren't you hard workers? Whoa. What is this song right now? I love it. Uh, who are you? Excuse me? It's Mothiva from the festival concert, wow. It's an honor to meet such a famous individual. Huh, that's better. And she came with her personal stalker. I am not a stalker. I couldn't resist sneaking in, seeing your work has been so inspiring. Hehe, <laughs> thanks. Now, you wouldn't mind just letting us go after the artifact, pretty please? What? No way, we put in all the effort. Aw, oh, come on, I'll even mention you in my next show. You'll get so much exposure. Hmm. Think of all the exposure we'll get turning in the artifact. I wouldn't recommend getting sassy. Tch, what do you even need the artifact for? While I was busy bringing joy to Bagaria citizens, you snuck into Snake Mount. And now everyone's just talking about you. That's not our problem. I ain't given up that reward. The summit may hold answers for us, so we're not going to budge. I don't really care about fame or riches, so I would let you pass, but... Oi, Kabu! Doesn't matter- it matters to my friends, so my answer is no. Huh. So you've chosen to do this the hard way. Get ready. 
You would attack a fellow exploration team? Oh ho ho ho, it's a bug-eat-bug -bug world on the way to stardom. We'll put you to sleep for a bit. This is stupid. Have it your way. Have it your way. You're gonna get smacked down. Alright, boss fight. We're gonna beat up a diva. Okay, first things first. Kabu, get in the front. You're a big old tanky boy. So we need you in the front. And we're gonna go ahead and spy on our friend Zasp here. Zas, we are fellow explorers. Why must we fight? As much as it pains me, I won't let you get in our way. Alrighty. So now it's Leif's turn. I'm not really sure what these two are about yet. So... I don't think I'm gonna go too crazy with my TP yet. I wanna see what the deal is. Like, she could potentially heal. He has high defense. So... For now, I would just like to... Play it safe. Ooh, perfect block. Oh, you attack two? Ow. Okay, so she hurts a lot. Uh, today I learned. Um, pep talk. Taunt enemies, making them focus on attacking Kabu for this turn. Hmm. That, that wouldn't be very useful because Zasp, it seems like, attacks two characters. So let's instead do a heavy strike on him. Boom. Take that big damage, boy. Alright. You two barely do any damage to him, but... Hey. Anything is useful at this point. Should probably... Heal up. You... No, let's wait until everybody takes a bit more damage. Boost an ally's defense for two turns. Oh wait, that would make you, like, nearly invincible. Let's use that next round, and then, uh, have Kabu taunt them. Seems like a good idea to me. He'll be pretty much invincible because he'll be poisoned. And, uh, he'll have his higher defense. Oh, wow. Three attacks? And he's dead. <laughs> well, so much for that. Uh, good thing we have this magic seed. And when he gets up, he is going to be poisoned. We will taunt them. Hey, come at me. Yeah, there you go. And... We're gonna go ahead and toss that Burly Berry on Kabu as well. There we are. Ow. That hit all of us. That's not good. Taunts enemies. Uh, let's just get some big damage down on you again, I guess. This is a rough fight, actually. It doesn't look like she heals Zasp, though. So at least I have that going for me. I am going to freeze you. This attack also does uh, pretty good damage as well. Ah, oh, he didn't get frozen. That's not good. Roasted berries, go! Please save my friends. Ooh, managed to block that. That is a dead leaf. Unless I perfect block every single attack. Jeez. Wow, I did not expect that. Um, okay, so... We have a leaf omelette. You know... Hmm. Alright, well, let's put, let's put V in first. Uh, for now, because she has the most HP. Let's have Kabu heal himself with a leaf omelette. That way we're not wasting his higher damage in the, uh, front space on just healing. And for you, we're gonna go ahead and attack him. Two damage on you. And you could really use a heal as well. So let's Leaf Omelet you as well. I think with our items, we should be able to do this. That did cost you a turn, right? That's fine. I was going to attack you anyway. Uh, so let's get Kabu in front. Yeah, we have enough. Yeah, I was going to beat up on you anyway. I don't I don't mind this actually. I wonder if um that berserk makes V do more damage? Be nice. Nope. Still one. Oh, you just raised his defense? 
Well, that was disappointing, and I'm sorry. Now he has to die. Yeah, get out of here, fanboy. Now I'm gonna beat up on your, uh, your idol over here. We have no TP, but that's fine, because we can just wail on her. Seriously, Zasp? Get up. Oh no, she can revive. I was, I was afraid that might happen, actually. Well, let's spy on her, now that we have the opportunity. This isn't good. Mathiva, you are respected and adored by so many. It pains me to see your true colors. Let's defeat her and then take care of Zasp. Okay, that would have been good to spy on first. Unfortunately, I did not. Um... Okay, we're just gonna let Kabu handle Zasp. And we're gonna focus on her now, I suppose. I don't know what that means. Green up. What does that mean? I'm not sure what that, uh, status effect means. So we're just gonna attack her instead. Oh, you're gonna spicy berry? Ow. I accidentally took damage. Maybe that's both, um... But maybe that's both up, I guess. Like, he has attack and defense up? Possibly? No? He doesn't have defense up, that's for sure. You know what? I actually think I do want to take him out. So that she at least wastes a turn uh, getting him back up. Oh, she... Whoa! Please don't. I don't think Kabu is the step-on-me type of person. That was just rude. I didn't know we were fighting a femdom, B. Get out of here with that stuff. Alright? This is no place for it. And Kabu didn't consent. That's actually a pretty devastating attack if she gets it off, but, uh... I hate to break it to you, lady. You are donezo. This was once again a pretty close fight. I like having the hard mode on. It creates some pretty, uh... Interesting fights. I enjoy it quite a lot. Game would be way too easy otherwise, probably. Ugh, how could you? Ugh, they're strong. How dare you sully my fluff, you talentless, disgusting peasants! I mean, we beat the hell out of you, isn't that a talent? That's what you get for trying to hijack our mission. Mothiva, you are nowhere near as kind as I hoped you would be. Mm-hmm. And Zasp, you lost the little respect we had for you. Silence! I won't forget this. You haven't seen what an amazing performance I can give. Mathiva, we should retreat for now. I know that, not because you told me. We'll meet again, Team Snake Mouth. Yeah, I bet she's doing that step on you attack to you, huh? But that's what's happening. That's why you're helping her out. The things some would do for fame. I mean, I almost can't blame her. Getting an artifact really bumps you up in the ranks. Not like I was going to let them take it from us, though. Well, despite that unexpected detour, we should be able to proceed now. We sent some strong magic up there. Let's make sure we're prepared. Wow, another boss fight? Really? Do we really need two? Alright. 2 one one video? Let's go. Or maybe it's just the artifact that Leif... Feels? Okay, well, we gotta get the beamerang in the right position here. Up we go. Uh. Ah, bro, hikie. Sharg shazbaki. Are you alright? It's been a while since one of those episodes. We're probably getting too close to the artifact then. Ugh, yes. So much magic. Perhaps you should stay here, Leif, until we clear a path. No, no, we're fine now. We won't retreat when we're so close. Look, stop acting tough. It'll be bad if you trip and stuff. Oh, V cares. Thank you, V, but we're fine. Let's go. If you feel weak at any point, we'll stop. Let's go, team. Hey. I also realized when we had the uh, Acolyte Aria fight, the whole reason they uh, made Kabu required, probably, was because uh, Kabu wasn't as effective when um, 
the enemy was up in the air. And uh, he specifically said that he could cut the vine down. Leif would not have been able to do that. So if you didn't have Kabu in, I guess you would have no one to uh, cut the vine down. So Leif would have been useless if you had chosen him. A flytrap rests on this trunk. It seems to be waiting for something. The sun offering? It appears I was right. I was wondering why we still had those in our inventory. I, th I thought it was the whole thing for the festival, but yeah, I guess it makes sense that it would have a function up here as well. Hmm. I see you. Uh, oh, that's just to get back down, isn't it? Yeah, no need to bother with that. Berries. What do we got? When the goddess eats the sun and then devours the moon, only then will she appear. Okay, well... I've already solved that riddle, thank you. I just happened to notice that I still had mission-critical items in my inventory. I didn't actually do any puzzle solving at all. I just inferred my way through that puzzle. Cut some more grass, why don't we? Never know when you can find some money in there. Get out of here. Alright, how many are there? Oh, it's just... it's just two. This isn't that bad. We can kill them pretty quickly. And we're fully healed as well, so that'll make this whole endeavor much, much safer. Ooh, three damage. Bam. I mean... Ah, uh, she got hit by one. That's actually really bad, because, uh... We can no longer, um, attack. Have I spied on that enemy? I have. What about you, Leif? Can you attack her? I mean, you could. Would cost some TP, though. Yeah, it's probably worth it. Boom. Get down here. We need to be able to attack you, damn it. Take that. And she's staying asleep. This this thing knows what it's doing, damn it. Okay, well, I'm not wasting any more TP on it, I don't think, so we're just gonna do nothing. Uh, okay. I mean, I don't know what that is, but I doubt it's gonna come into play at all because I just, I just killed you, so. Oh yeah, I forgot. These battles are basically not worth- No, don't lose the tin! Okay. Whew. Scared me for a second. These battles are basically not worth doing. Okay, we don't have anything to put in there, really. So, I assume we need to find something to put in there. Correct? What is that? Uh, no, I don't want to fight you. Go away. You're a waste of time, go. Uh. No. Quit that. Damn it. <laughs> he trapped me in a corner. I couldn't get by. Ow. Can you not? Um. wonder how many... Uh, we're gonna lose a lot of berries doing this, but... Yeah, I should probably just kill these enemies. Uh, this is... this is rough. I'll probably... I'll probably have to start cutting, uh some of these random battles out at this point, but at least this one will go by a lot faster because uh, V is actually awake to knock this uh, plant down to the ground. And it didn't target her that time. So that's useful as well. Get down here, you stupid flying plant. Who taught you how to fly? You were never meant to. It goes against the loss of everything, basically. Unless you're a dandelion, I suppose. They they kind of fly. Ow. Great, Kabu. You healed it with your meat. You shouldn't have fed the plant. <coughs> Jeez. A measly 5 XP. Yeah, I, I assume that means we are overleveled currently. Oh, cool. I needed that at least. We got something out of that fight. Of course, was that was that from the actual? Oh no! Damn it! I didn't see that money. I'm a fool. Uh, over here, I suppose. Yeah. Hop, hop. Oh jeez. 
Okay. Okay. So, we can't stay here too long. Or we get eaten. It seems that I missed. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Beam me up, Scotty. Aha! Another crank. And more money. Hidden in the grass. It really is like I'm playing Zelda. A wooden crank! It should fit in a slot anywhere to control nearby mechanisms. I don't know why I said that in that voice. I guess because the music played in the background. Alright. So back over here, we slot this crank in, and then we should be able to turn this bridge and get up there to whatever that is. Wooden crank. Alright, let's spin that bad boy. Uh... Oh, I was not paying attention to what I was doing. Yeah, go ahead and come back for me, please. Yeah, go ahead and... Yeah, yeah, there you go. Just slowly meander your way over here. Good, good, yeah, just like that. I mean, be a little bit faster about it, but... Wow, it really does take a long time. Oh, damn it. Can I reset the room, actually, to reset the position of that? That might work better. It's not like the enemies are going to respawn anyway. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Except I magnificently messed it up. Cool. So that seems like this entire uh, room cleared, basically. Oh, this led to a whole other room. Oh, damn it, I should have hit that save point down there. Oh, wait, okay, cool. It, it's it's just... It's just right up here. Good. Go ahead and flip that switch. Does away with those. And we can go ahead and put... The moon offering in here. What's that noise in the background? Are you satisfied, Mr. Flytrap? It is. Oh, it's just this thing going up and down. <laughs> it was making a weird sound, so I wasn't wasn't sure what that was. All right, I guess we're gonna hit up this save point, and in the next episode, I can only assume we're gonna have back-to-back -back boss fights, so that's exciting. I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Bug Fables, and I will see you next time.